Hello everyone and welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper. On the last episode we did a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of business that went on. Um, we're actually trying to level up right now so that we can go back to our main story um, because unfortunately our main story is at level 27 and we're only at like level 23-ish. So, and we're trying to find our other person, which we do have some, some, uh, possibilities, but, um, a warrior, a cleric, which might not be bad because, um, it can group heal, but I'm kind of curious to see what other things we can find. So right now we're kind of side questing, just trying to get up levels, um, so that we can go back to our main story. And we're also 100%ing on a lot of things. So, and we're actually not doing too bad. Um, there aren't a whole lot of places actually that we haven't gotten 100%. Um, there's 100, there's 100, 175. This will probably be actually the last place we go, I, I'm guessing. Um, 157, 0%. I mean, we're just, whoops, no, 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 stop. I just now realized there's a stop button. Who knew? Uh, actually, let's go ahead and buy some grindstones. And we're gonna give them to our blacksmith and then I really want to get someone something new um, man I'm just gonna go for it Ah, dang it. Dag nabbit. Oh, yay! Yes! Alright. Cool, we got an item for someone. And I don't have any more money. But, we did it! We did it! And he's got a new item. Alright, so... That helps a lot, I think. Alrighty, so... Let's go ahead and go back to Miami Beach. No, 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 no. Go back to Miami Beach. And we're going to do the escort quest there. Hopefully get some levels. Alrighty. So we're going to rescue a little kid a chance to gain new items. You hear the sound of a kid screaming. You look aside and there's a little kid being carried into the sea. What will you do? Charge! Okay, I believe that means you want to fight through the enemies and rescue that little kid, right? You don't want to fight him, do you? Defeat all three enemy waves and rescue the little kid. Alright, we got this, guys. These guys are nothing. They have nothing on us. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I kind of wish I guess another thing that I kind of wish for was like the battle themes are cool I kind of wish they had like a different tone for the different places you went to I mean that definitely would have been a lot more work um, but I don't know just kind of a different thing or maybe different tones for different missions I think that would have been kind of cool so these guys shouldn't be too bad actually alrighty And one down. And maybe I can just hit him. Oh, I'm not going to hit him with her wand because that does nothing. But maybe I'll just hit him. Alright, wave one is down. We got some gold and we also got a green apple. Alrighty. 
This is this makes it a little tougher because we have no rest time. It's just the three waves like coming all at once. So I mean, that makes it a little more difficult. I actually kind of like that aspect because it may, it gives more of a challenge. Not saying that the game isn't full of challenges in itself. I mean, if you're under leveled, then obviously you're going to have a little tougher time um, beating enemies. But oh, holy shield. But I really like the aspect of having uh, multiple enemies coming after me. Deep freeze. All right, wave three. Hopefully it's not too tough. Oh gosh. Oh, super effective. I'm actually gonna try. Uh, the fish had a good stuff. All right, <clears throat> feral rage it. This guy's not too bad. I mean, his health is going down pretty, pretty easily, but still, uh, it like does a, a big attack. All right, um, actually gonna vanish so that guy, that thing doesn't like go after him really. And I need to give Granny something. Uh, uh. Um, yes, we'll give her that. It's actually not too tough. I thought it was going to be a lot tougher than it, than it really was, but vanish, that vanish really helps. I think I'll get that up next time. And 28 treasure found on elite. Woo! And level up. We we're just talking. Vanish is going up. All right, cool. So, it's you in trouble again? Little kid, why are you here? Go back to town. I'm sorry, I just wanted to swim a little bit. Your mama will be happy if you stop putting yourself in danger. Go back to Default Village, hurry! <laughs> okay. Alright, our quest is done. We did it. We got egg. An egg. And we're actually all done here. And we're caught in a fight, of course. We were all done here. And then I had to go get in a fight. So these actually aren't too bad. I'm I'm really debating, guys, on getting the cleric. Because I think the cleric could really help out. Although, I'm fine with doing a lot of damage. So, I'd actually like to, like to hear your input. Which do you think would be better for me to get to wait it out, see if there's something else I can get that might be really cool or to get the cleric so that, you know, I have that healing aspect to it or just use one of my other ones that I have just to do more damage. Let me know in the comment section below. I'd be very appreciative. <laughs> if I could name characters, I would name it after the person who, you know, who helped me out, but I can't. Which is sad. That'd be really cool if you could. That'd be something I'd really love to see, like in a game. It would be to see that um, that extra, I don't know, personalization, I guess. It would make it a lot more D&D-ish style, but I definitely, I definitely enjoy this game. It's one that is, you know, a little more laid back, that you really don't have to feel pressured to, like, Oh man, I really gotta play that. You know, it's just kind of like a oh man, I just feel like playing on the PC today. I'm gonna go play Knights of Pen and Baber. Just one of those things. Alright. We are done in Miami Beach. Let's go ahead and head up to Yoga Village. I know we had um something up there that we can do. Nope, we're in a fight. We're being attacked by snow bears. Not pig bears, snow bears. And I have no idea how, how leveled these guys are, so. Oh, 
They might be a little tougher, actually. All right. I'm gonna meteor. I'm not meteor. I'm gonna deep freeze. Oh man, these guys are a little tougher. A little tougher. It's like full concentration mode activated with these snow bears. <laughs> I really, I mean, I don't need to do that to him. I'm just kind of waiting, I guess for granny so that I could do that. <laughs> okay. Now we're down to one, which is fine. And I'm gonna deep freeze. Super effective, and then the bleeding. That wasn't too bad. Oh! She got hurt, why? I don't know why. Good, I'm glad we got some good rolls. All right, because I needed that health. <laughs> She's almost caught up to them, though. That's really cool. All right. Now, oops, no, no, no. Oh, dang it. Guys, I'm going to, I think I'm going to chicken out of this one. Yes, I want to chicken out of the battle. Oh, that's an interesting an animation. Peep, peep, you chicken. I didn't want to do that fight. I just wanted to go to Yoga Village. Which we have stuff to do here, actually. Let me see what we have. We have a rescue. Oh, that's the same thing as. Interesting. Oh, no. I don't think it's the same, actually. Never mind. Just kidding. Maybe it is. I don't know. That's weird. Anyways. Nope. This is 24, level 24. Which. That's why we. We're not ready for this place. So, let's go ahead and go back to the Black Forest. I think that's the, s the lowest. Oh no, we'll go to the Flying Dutchman. There's stuff for us to do here. Except we have a fight, which is gonna be bears. Oh, a spider. Ooh, little spiders and a big spider. Ew. Oh, spider. Trail rage that. That gets that down. Oh, I love Deep Freeze so much. Oh, I can't remember if I put that on her or not. Okay, Deep Freeze. That one's gotta be almost gone. Gone. I love how it makes it sound like a mouse. I kind of wish it made like, you know, a kind of sound or something, I don't know. Oh my goodness. I would, you know, to be honest, I would hate to run into this giant spider in the middle of uh, anything. Oh no, Wolfie. Oh crud. I don't think I have any revival. Oh gosh, I don't have any revival. Oh crap. Oh man. Oh, this is interesting. This is a thing now, guy. Oh my gosh. This is a thing. This is a thing. This is a thing. Maybe if I get rid of the big one, it won't uh, do this giant one. <laughs> oh man, guys. I didn't even know. I didn't even know he was that far. No. Okay, I got rid of the big one. Hopefully I can get rid of... Oops, maybe I'll just meteor them. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm gonna eat the egg. I'm gonna eat the egg. Hopefully I... Hopefully they don't just come in like little hordes or whatever. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get rid of them all. Ooh, 59. That's a nice little... 
amount of damage she did there. Oh, I need to put her holy, holy shield back on. Oh, come on, we almost got it. There we go. Done? Oh, okay, whew. Oh my gosh, we got so much XP from that though, guys. Whew. Uh. Oh, well, I could have clicked on him. Mm. No. We better get good rolls. It's gonna stink if we don't. Because Wolfie is not ready. Or Wolfie. Wolfie, my Wookie. Wolfie. Same thing. <laughs> okay, we're back at the Flying Dutchman. I'm gonna try to sleep. Okay, good. We're good. So Wolfie, Wolfie my Wookie, Wookie my Wolfie, can uh, get his health back. Okay. Each night increases the danger. Alright, so what do we got here? We have a rescue mission that we can do. So we might as well. All of a sudden you hear a weird noise. You've never heard that noise before. It is coming from the lower level of the ship and you go to take a look. While searching for the sound, you hear some crocs talking to each other. They apparently have a terrible plan to conquer the oceans. You spot a hole in the wood wall and try to take a look and find what out what they are doing. All you can see is a cute furry creature locked up in a cell. Alright, I say that we need to rescue it. And here we go, sneak attack roll. You try to pick the door lock and sneak attack them, but you just slam the door for almost no avail with that critical fail on the die roll. The crocs look at you and don't want to talk. Prepare yourself. So unlucky. Alright, we have three enemy waves again. These guys weren't too bad the last time we faced them, which I think this was like a level 19 um, rescue anyway. Alright. I'm gonna meteor um. Yeah, like I was saying, like this game is just one of those that's just kind of nice to play every once in a while. It's not like really intense it obviously has a uh, play through value because you can play you can have different party members so that you know kind of makes your party different and i'm sure they have different sayings that they say just kind of gives an, an a different uh, feel to the game it's definitely good to have that play through value though um, replay value is what i'm actually meaning but um it's really nice to have that replay value because Obviously, you don't want to create a game where someone's just like, oh, you know, I don't want to play that game ever again, so I'm going to trade it in. But then again, I'm one of those people that I don't trade in games. I just keep them because I have a hard time getting rid of games. Like, like even if it's a horrible game, I'm like, maybe I'll go back to it. Maybe. You know, you never know. There's a couple of games, like, that I have that I would just, I don't know if I'd ever play them. But you never know. You never know. I'm also one of those people that, even though I play a game and I really enjoy it, I can't go back and play it like right after I'm done playing it. I have to have that time away from it and kind of forget some of what happened just so that it's it's like, oh, that's new and fresh in my mind. Like, that's really nice. Like, I've kind of had a craving to play Star Wars Nice the Old Republic just because I haven't played it in forever. We got a glowstone. And I I kind of remember what happened. Ooh, I'm going to level her up. One my level up. Uh, I'm going to give her a devotion. Get that up. Um, I haven't played it in a while. But, you know, I, I remember what happens, obviously. But it's still the fact that I, I don't remember, like, every detail to a T. But I really enjoy that game because it was one of the first games where you actually had uh, choices in what you picked and what you did, uh, like what talking choice choices. And I also, you know, had a crush for Karth, 
when I was a kid, or not when I was a kid, but when I was younger, I had a crush on Karth in Knights of the Old Republic, and um, that was the thing. <laughs> Which Bioware has really stepped up with Mass Effect, even though we're not going to talk about Mass Effect 3, because I don't want to go on a tangent, and I don't want to get on my soapbox. It'll just lead to horrible things, and hopefully, I'm, I'm looking forward to Final, Fan or Final Fantasy 4. I'm looking forward to Mass Effect 4. Uh, just because I'm I'm curious to see how they're going to progress. And I really do love space uh, games. I mean, there's not a whole lot out there. Especially, it's kind of an RPG action adventure. So, I, I loved it. I really enjoyed the game. It's probably one of my favorite series out there. Oh man, this guy's like... <laughs> nothing. But, you know, at some point, I'll probably go back and play the Mass Effect series. I haven't had an inkling to go back and play it. I have, um, I did start up Dragon Age again. I actually uh, got all the way through Dragon Age. I beat the dragon, and then uh, my PS3 went lemon on me. And so I ended up losing my saved data. I had beat the game. I had married Alistar. Alistair. Um, I beat the game. I'd married Alistair. And and I, I was, you know, he was king. Beat the dragon. And I was really proud of myself because I, when I was younger, I don't do it normally nowadays, sometimes. But when I was younger, I would start up a game and not finish it. And now I'm getting to the point where I'm actually getting better at finishing games. So... You know who knew but I am a true gamer I mean I just love starting games apparently and not ending them um, but I'm, I'm getting better guys I'm getting better <laughs> obviously that'd be horrible if I started this game and was like well I'm not getting back to it so you know have a good time watching whatever you can of it that'd be horrible yay we did it we beat an elite <laughs> the fluffy ball of fur has been rescued from the crux <laughs> Gremny. Pretty sure that's a gremlin. Thank heavens you've arrived. My name is Gremmy. I thought I got in here through the portal. I don't belong in this place. They want to throw me in the ocean. I can't touch the water. Terrible things will happen if I do. Okay, Gremny. We shall take you to where you belong. I owe you my life. Let's go. The place I belong is the mainland, far from water. Okay, let's go to the beach. Alright, we're going to travel to Miami Beach. Miami Beach. No battle. There we go, Grimney. You're safe. I don't think he's safe. He's making strange sounds. Uh-oh. Hey, Grimney, are you okay? No. I believe ocean water touched me while we were traveling. Uh-oh, it is happening. What is happening? Quest done. Whoa, so much XP. Oh yeah, you guys better have leveled up. Um, Let's go ahead and get her meteor up. And we'll go and get Wookiees. Um, let's get his regen up. Okay. We have a battle, and it's level 25. I just don't know. Maybe I'll sleep first. I don't know, guys. This might be the epic battle. I kind of want to see what Grumney looks like. Unless he just looks the same. Alright, let's let's do this. I hope I hope he looks like big and mean and stuff. The fluffy fury creature starts bubbling. It is not even cute anymore. It's turning into a terrible kind of alien. I don't even know what in the if if that is even the word for it. 
Prepare yourself, the monster looks very mad and it's focusing its eyes on you. Yikes! Your party is being attacked. Whoa! Interesting. I have personally never seen the movie Gremlins, believe it or not. So, is this what happens? Like, when you get them wet, do they turn into this weird looking thing? I doubt it looks like this, but I'm so confused. I just, I'm cu curious what, what happens. So, if, if you know, message me or comment in the section below. <laughs> it like turned into a woman, unless it's a pun, and that's a very horrible pun. <laughs> oh, but anyways, um, this actually is not too bad for being level 25. He's not even doing anything to me that I can see, so this is nothing. And it's done. And I thought that was gonna be like some really cool boss battle, but nope. At last. As you drop the final blow, lots of goo spill all over the place. The big monster has been, been vanished. Vanquished. Wow, I can't read. The big monster has been vanquished. You won't see it again anywhere. When you take a step closer to it, while cleaning yourselves, you see a shining little object on the ground. A souvenir from an alien from an from other dimension. Congratulations. Ooh, I gotta love good monsters like you. Alright, what do we get? Oh gosh. What was that thing? Is everyone okay? Oh, DXP. Oh. What did we get? <laughs> I wanna know. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get our vanish up. And looks like we're at 100% here. 100% here. So, guys, I think we're gonna call this an episode. We're definitely getting there, getting up in the levels. Um, we might actually try going main story questing just because it's a level 27 doesn't mean anything or maybe we'll go to level 25 because we're almost there um our characters are catching out to each other and that's great it's all fun and games right till somebody gets a gremlin wet anyway guys i will see you next time on the knights of pen and paper i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time